Yes, you can actually model your edge lines and that's it. I mean, there's a bit more to it, so stick around and you'll learn how to do it fast and what the advantages are. If you want to support me, subscribe to this channel or check out my game. Cast Kill Zombies is a roguelike top-down shooter where you play as Angry Cast trying to control a zombie outbreak in a remote town. Check my devlogs if you want to learn about the developing process or just wishlist the game on Steam. So back to the edge lines. I'm going to use a modifier in Blender to generate the edge lines and then use them in Unity. But first, I want you to be aware of some of the advantages and drawbacks of using this. The other approach to edge lines is to use a shader, but this can be tricky for people who don't understand shaders, programming or math. So you can call this a more artist friendly friendly technique. The biggest downside is that you have a bit more modeling work than usual and you have extra polygons in your mesh. But to compensate, you have a lot more control over which edges you want to highlight and you don't have to mess with shader witchcraft. To do this, first open your model in Blender. I'll link the model I'm using here in the description if you want to use it. Then duplicate the object and name it as our edge lines. Go to the properties and add a wireframe modifier. Change the material of the edge lines to a pure black one. I'll use this for preview, cause you should be using the same material as the rest of the model to avoid draw calls in the engine. If you switch to material preview, you see that we have edge lines now. But you still have to do some cleanup if you want a good result. If you tap into edit mode, you should see that the mesh is still the same as our original. Do your best to remove undesired edge lines, but preserving a closed mesh. Cause if you start deleting faces, your edge lines will be open at some angles. For example, I don't want these edges to show up here in the middle. They are here because the side has 4 faces. I'll delete the faces. And then I'll press F to fill the space with only one face. Getting the result I want, but keeping the mesh closed. Adjust the thickness in the modifier until you get the style you want. Then you apply the modifier. And apply a shade smooth to the edges to make them smooth. Also you can make any tinkering you want to the edges, like extrusions or copy paste edges where there are none. After you are done and the result pleases you, change the edges material to your models material. Tab into edit mode, press A to select all edges, go to the object data tab and create a new vertex group called edges. Hit the assign button. Now you exit edit mode, first select the edges object and then the main model and press ctrl j to join them. It's important to use the same mesh with the same materials on the edges, cause otherwise you will end up with a lot of extra draw calls and you don't want that. But now the edge color is off. We will have to edit our model texture maps to get that pitch black edges back. For this, you only need a small black square. Your UV maps will likely have some empty space that isn't covered by any faces. You must place the black square there, in your image editing software. The size of the square is not important, we just need one pixel from the image to dedicate to the edges. The only reason I'm using a square is for better visualization. This model only has a diffuse map, but you must edit the other maps accordingly, if they exist. Specular maps must be black, roughness white, metallic black, smoothness black, and so on. After you edit and re-imported the maps, go to the UV editing window. In edit mode, in the object data tab, select the vertex group you created earlier. Press U and smart UV project. In the image editor, select this box to make the edges selected in the window. S and 0 to scale the UVs to a single point, place them inside the black square and you're done. If you're modeling something from scratch and want to see the edge lines as you model, instead of duplicating the object at the beginning with Ctrl D, you should use Alt D to create a linked copy. That way, your edge line model will change whenever you make changes to your main model. After you've done modeling, unlink the edge object by going to Object, Relations, Make Single User, object and data. The results are good, predictable and you don't need any shader programming knowledge. You may have noticed that our edges are lit, unlike in other approaches. If you correctly edit the texture maps, you should be fine. Only in some extreme lighting conditions there may be a difference, but not in Game Breaker. This will also not work with tiling. To avoid those issues, you can make the edge lines as separate objects and assign an unlit shader to them. 
but bear in mind that the draw calls will increase by a lot, so only do this with few objects and only if necessary. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something today, as I said, if you want to support me, wishlist my game, the link will be on the description, it helps me a lot. Leave your questions down there in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and have a nice day, and I see you next time.